Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bad, ahabatifillah, a question was asked, I'm 17 years old and from the UK, I want to seek knowledge in general All the science is in detail, what is in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah? I've looked at some universities, but they are quite hard to get into And I'm not sure I could get in Do you know places I can seek knowledge of uh, all the Islamic sciences without having to enroll in a university. Like, could I turn up to Masjid and Nabu Nabuya uh, and start studying? Please mention any other places you know and details of getting there and advice, if that is okay. May Allah reward you. Uh, Jazakallah khairan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of our affairs easy and good. I mean, Ya I mean, first and foremost, we talked about this a million times, it seems that. Uh, regarding seeking knowledge and alhamdulillah some of the brothers and sisters have posted information that they know of, of places in Egypt and Morocco Maghrib so I would suggest to go and look on the post look at some of those videos and some of the posts to find out that information secondly I would also advise you because you're in the UK and I know because I know countless students of knowledge there I know so many and so many mashayikh that I was in Medina with and uh, and I know a lot of them are doing khair and, and calling to the book of Allah and the son of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and some of them are still in Medina youngsters that are in Jama Islamiya uh, like our brother Abu Taymiyyah and others who are calling to the book of Allah and the son of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and raising awareness amongst the youth of the son of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and doing khair so I would advise you to ask your local people and ask uh, those brothers if you have access to them for direct advice and, you know, they're in the trenches, so to speak. What I will tell you is absolutely not that you will not be able to just come to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is very difficult unless you can get either you come employed or you get in, accepted into one of the Islamic universities and can study that way. Or a third option, which I know some brothers are doing, and that is by getting a business visa. And some people stay here to try to do a six year, I mean, uh, six months to a year. I'm not sure all the laws with that, and that's something you would have to re research. And probably as a 17 year old, you probably will not fit that criterion. But uh, in general, the Arab is Wasia and uh, Egypt, uh, Mesr. And uh, some other, also, uh, as we said, Morocco, uh, are still fairly stable countries, at least for the moment. And you can uh, probably do some Talib al-Ilm in those places. And in fact, in a lot of other places, you know, uh, you can do stuff. There's probably things, if you get the right contacts in Indonesia, because I know a lot of, a lot of Salafi Mashayikh and a lot of Salafi Talib al-Ilm. So many Talib al-Ilm there and uh, that are on the menhaj of the Salaf. And there are also uh, in, in many other countries. And, uh, um, and if you had the right contacts, you could probably find uh, where to go in Mauritania. I just don't have those contacts. So I would just say, with that being the case, is that you need to network and strive your best and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open it up for you. And you're young, and so you, you be in the Lata will have the opportunity. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad.